This will be tutorial 25 of our Spring Boot Time Leave uh, tutorial series and today we are going to be working with the delete method. By now you already know that we've succeeded in writing the add, we've written the edit, I've written the select all and now we are going to be writing the edit method. Uh, again, if you want to remove these, all these 0, 0, 0, 0, uh, I don't know, I don't know if I handled that here but uh, Maybe we'll talk about that a little later, but for now let's go and work with the delete. So we go to the student service and then we write a delete method. That will be a bit easier. Public void delete. We have student, student. Alright, so again, student uh, delete actually takes the ID to be deleted, so it's going to be integer ID. So say student repository dot delete delete by ID ID. All right. Again, if you miss out anything in this lesson, uh, please don't uh, forget to look at the. So the, the tutorial page you can see all the steps and you can just copy and paste. So let's now go to write the delete method in the controller. So, so the easiest thing to do is I'm going to just copy the the edit method. I'm going to copy it and then I'm going to paste it here. Now I'm going to change this to delete. Okay request is going to be request method dot delete actually I can just I could have used uh, delete mapping so instead of going long way you say deletes delete mapping to slash delete and then take out all this so that at least is makes it a bit easier for us so I'm going to use uh, uh, public strings to uh, delete. Okay, so it's going to take ID, an integer type of ID, so integer ID. Mm -hmm. So going to delete. So change up everything to delete instead of uh, update. So ID to, to be deleted. After deleting, <coughs> it's going to return to the list of students. So let's correct this. Good. We have the delete method off and running. <coughs> so let's see if we got it right. Okay, so we have request methods, we have delete, we have. Okay. So we are going to now move to the next part, 026. Let's now set up the delete model.